I think we passionately believe that these technologies work best when they augment the human relationship we have with our customers. When we do that well, our engineers spend less time on administrative tasks, less time finding things, more time solving real customer problems and communicating with the customer. Thousands of agents across 120 countries, 46 languages. You can imagine the breadth of people who use our solutions. Hospitals, Xbox, gamer calls coming in. Over 145 million contacts a year. Fortune 500 companies who are calling about Azure. 73 million calls a year. Over 60 million emails, 11 million chats. Government agencies contacting us to make sure that they can get the support they need from Microsoft. Contact centers are always one of the most difficult environments to apply technology into with the most potential for impact. The first particular thing is really your cost center. And people look at you as, how do you reduce the cost as much as possible? Second of all, is turnover. Constant turnover of the agents, often finding a different job very quickly, and then the constantly evolving customer needs. They're getting more and more complex all the time. It doesn't require you to have all the information about a case in your mind. It doesn't require you to have all the knowledge that you, know, you have mastered over time relevant to that case front and center. It actually takes all of that and provides you with guidance and prompts in real time. It can draft a suggested question for you. It can draft a suggested response. We expected to have to train a lot of the agents on how to use the new generative AI capability, but it is so straightforward in how you communicate with it, how you chat with it, that it was not a heavy lift. We moved from having zero agents on using AI to having 55,000 agents on board within three months. We're seeing that for low severity cases, we can often reduce average handling time by 12% or more. One of the key reasons we're seeing for that is it's that time to have the right knowledge available and really the ability to, instead of going through multiple cycles with a customer, go straight to the key question or the key recommendation that lets them resolve their case. Typically, a English-speaking person works with an English-speaking customer, especially like in chat. But with AI, they're actually able to swap languages. And so as a result of that, we can improve our quality by allowing more agents to be able to address a given problem by just leveraging the fact that AI can handle the translation challenge. We've seen an interesting real improvement in reducing the number of cases that require multiple experts to get involved. So again, as much as a kind of 10% reduction in the volume of cases where we have to get a second support engineer involved to bring a particular expertise. It has brought excitement to the team. We've always wanted to be able to have the customer explain what they're doing in natural language, understand what they're doing, and then deliver that call or that interaction to the right agent. With generative AI, it allows us to do that for the first time. The opportunity to apply it at scale in our own operations across tens of thousands of engineers is really a unique first mover advantage for us internally to be able to operate more effectively. We have a host of new applications that we're looking at. In fact, I think there's a list of about 30 different places that we want to leverage generative AI in the contact center. I think the first thing I'd say to any contact center leader is we don't have a choice but to explore these technologies. They're coming fast at the market. They do have incredible opportunity, I think. So I think it's time to experiment. It's time to get in there and actually apply them at scale because customers' expectations are changing and because we're finding new ways to serve customers the first time they reach out to us.